Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Council Men. Today we visit you once again with a, a show that is going to be typically on home remedies and uh, nutrition for the whole family. We are looking at three uh, dishes that we are going to take you through as we prepare it. And the reason why we are focusing on these food uh, preparation methods is because we want you to learn to do these simple healthy things in the home, in the comfort of your home. You really don't have to go out there to look for these recipes that we're going to make. And these recipes for the whole family are taking care of, of the two uh, groups of people, that is the adults and the children. And we are basically focusing at boosting the human body with uh, activating the immune system so that this body that God made in this wonderful way should be able to fight diseases off. Now, must I tell you that there is a big increase in the cancers and, uh, and all these other sickle cells, um, immune compromi compromising diseases that have come up so much because our eating has been neglected. What are those special things that we need to eat on a daily basis Make it very tasty and uh, uh, apart from being tasty, it has to be acceptable to the children. We are emphasizing children because some children have basically failed to eat vegetables because of the way we prepare them. And so today with me is uh, Mrs. Daisy Mchurezi, uh, Mrs. Jessica Chemerire. They are taking us through a preparation of three dishes. And the first dish is roasted vegetables. We are making it in a very uh, special way that it is going to retain all the food values within these foods. As if you look around here, these are foods we rarely prepare for children, but they are going to teach us a very unique, unique way of preparing uh, broccoli, cauliflower, and uh, bell pepper so that the children can enjoy it in a tasty way they are going to show us. They are also going to take us through the preparation of meatball curry. Now, I can't wait to taste on that because it is exceptional, it is tasty, it has all the food values retained in there. And then the third dish they will take us through is the grilled potato wedges. Now let me remind you, how many times have we denied our children uh, eating uh, fries? You may call them french fries the British will call them chips, potato chips, because of the dripping oil that is used in the preparation. Now, potato wedges are a bit like chips. They actually taste much better than chips, but they are made in a very unique way that these two ladies will lead us to, and uh, your children will enjoy them, and they will be eating a healthy recipe. Welcome. Daisy, can you tell people why you chose to prepare this, and Mrs. Tushemerira will go through with you as you explain. Thank you very much. Um, hello, people. Hello, viewers. Um, yes, today we are preparing these very tasty dishes uh, with both the children and the adults in mind. Uh, and uh, the reason why we want to prepare these particular dishes today is to show you that uh, you can have a tasty meal in the comfort of your home and it can be one that you haven't spent too much money on so it is uh, the cost will be um, reasonable affordable but also that the food the food as it's meant to be uh, will give us the nutrition we need in our bodies uh, for growth for energy for bodybuilding and for immunity especially these days when we have this pandemic going around and the talk is about building immunity uh, so with uh, Jessica my friend here uh, we're going to go through um, a number of uh, 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 um, foods and vegetables. Uh, for the roasted vegetables, um, we have the following ingredients. Uh, we have the red bell pepper, the yellow bell pepper, we have uh, cauliflower, broccoli, tomatoes, you know, our usual tomatoes, our usual carrots. We have the uh, baby marrow. And then we have uh, onions, garlic, katungu, chumu, we have tangawuzi, the ginger, uh, we have um, some little flour, we have some yogurt. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be a really good um, experience for you on how to prepare the things that you have every day in your kitchens or in your vegetable gardens 
or in the markets which are close to us. So Jessica, uh, let's go through first the um, roasted vegetables. Kindly take us through how to prepare these, to eat them when they are cooked or even when they are raw, and that they can give us some nutrition that we require. Yes, thank you, Daisy, for, yeah, for the introduction. Now, these vegetables are very important for our bodies. Uh, they supply vitamins, there's vitamin C, there's vitamin A in carrots. You, when you were when you in primary, they used to tell us that if you want bright and nice eyes that will take you for 100 years, you take carrot every day, so the bell pepper has also, uh, the, the colored vegetables have another nutrient in them that helps you to, to build your body. So there's vitamin C, there's roughage, there's calcium, uh, you know the tomatoes have, uh, uh, I've forgotten what it's called, but it helps in, the, in your body, and uh, the, we also have uh, butternut, this one is, uh, there's uh, calcium, there's uh, also the yellow beet that brings in the vitamin A. So all the vitamins are covered here. And, and, and in feeding, you're told to have uh, all the colors. When you eat all the colors, the many colors you eat, the more nutrients you get. The reason we got this variety of vegetables. And just, just one thing, are all these available to us? Because like the butternut, someone looks like a Little pumpkin, but is that available locally if we grow that ourselves? Yeah, but that's a very good question. You can grow it yourself. If you don't have it in your home, if you have where to grow, go to the market, buy this, mm -hmm. get out the seeds. Actually, the seeds are also good. Uh, they have um, iron, uh -huh. uh, so you can roast the seeds and yes. eat them, but you can also plant the seeds right. to multiply. Right. So you can plant it in your backyard. Remember people, remember ladies and gentlemen who are listening and watching, the color of the vegetable is important. It's not just for sure, but it actually tells you what kind of nutrition you'll get from the vegetable. Go on. So we have the onions. All of you know what, is good, what, we, what we have been told in you know, the, the benefits of the onions, the garlic and the ginger in, in the immune boosting. So we are going to use all these products. And when you have them, then you have eaten a balanced diet. You are told it's supposed to be a balanced diet at every meal. Right. Be it breakfast, be it lunch, be it dinner. Every right. time you eat, make sure you have a balanced diet mm -hmm. so that you are able to build your immunity. Uh, we are all safe. So we we'll put our meat here. And then we'll, we'll grate in our garlic. Put more, 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 more. I'll put few for, for demonstration, mm. but you can put to your to your taste. Then you grate the onions. We will grate them so that they are tiny and that they don't irritate the especially the children. When the child sees an onion in the some of them start putting them out. So when you grate, they are fine and then they go in well. You also grate the ginger. Oh, sorry. Can you find me ask? Suppose I don't have that. What can I use? Can I get that small motor? Yes. I've seen some small motors in the supermarket. I have one. I can show you to demonstrate how you can use it. You can go for this, or you can go for the wooden one. Mm. You put in your things and you brush. If you don't have the motor, you can also use uh, the surface. The surface, the work surface. I usually put, wrap it in, in a polythene bag or okay. a clean film. Or clean or film and then you crush. Crush it. Yes. yes. And now you're ready to, to mix. You put the salt. My salt is here. You put little salt, don't put a lot. These days we are told not to put a lot of salt. You use your, we have pepper, you can use this type. You can use uh, the ordinary pepper in your garden, you crush it. We put curry powder, curry powder is in the supermarket, you can get it from any shop in all sizes. 
And the reason I like this curry powder is most of the good Then you mix mm. and make sure everything is together and you cannot separate. So well blended. Yes. And remember that when you're in the kitchen, mm. you um you need you need to you will use your hands a lot. So mm. remember there has to be a thorough thorough cleanliness mm. of your hands. Running water. <coughs> So what should someone consider when they are selecting the meat that they need to buy? You, you have to buy meat that doesn't have a lot of fat. Mm. Now after mixing, you get a you pinch and make a ball. Or you can use your your chopping board, your chopping board mm. and you roll like this and you get your ball. Mm -hmm. You put it aside. Mm. Thereafter, we, we, you, you get a baking tin, mm -hmm. put some oil, just a little oil, grease the tin, yes. put it in the grill, grill it for like 10 minutes, then after that, we make the curry. So, Grace asked about the meat to buy. When you buy, make sure you look for meat that is not fatty. Okay. Uh, that is not fatty. What they call lean meat? Lean meat mm -hmm. that is fresh. Mm -hmm. Do not buy meat that has overstayed. Mm -hmm. okay. It should be cut on that day and missed and you bring it and use it. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't, uh, some people buy meat, you put it in the freezer, you take it out, you take it back. Mm -hmm. That's very dangerous, mm -hmm. you can cause food poisoning. Yes. Yes. So you have to be very careful when you're dealing with meat. Right. Because as you know, human beings, most of us like meat. Yes. But even the insects like meat. Mm -hmm. The bacteria. <laughs> Actually, meat can, if not well handled, not well handled, it can be a breeding ground in yes, so many viruses yes. and fungus. Right. Mm -hmm. preparation of our meatballs and now we are going into the vegetable. Remember that our plate has to be as healthy and as attractive and as nutritious as it can be. So the ladies, Miss Daisy and Miss Shemirire are taking us through the chopping of the vegetables. Now this one we are going to, to roast the vegetables. Yes. Now the difference between boiling, when you boil vegetables all the nutrients get lost in the water. When you fry, you actually kill. But when you roast, you okay. you preserve. You preserve all the ingredients, the nutrients. Mm -hmm. And so whoever is eating it is not only enjoying the taste, they are also enjoying all the benefits that God has put in that food. Okay. So uh, we are going to have uh, the cauliflower uh, sliced uh, or diced, and also the broccoli. And Jessica here will work on the carrots uh, and uh, the baby marrow and all the other vegetables that we have. Remember, we are uh, uh, cooking for the family, so there's adults and there's children. Uh, rather than make big ones, I think we'll call it the adults, let's try and make them small so the children will be able to eat them as well. Uh, so here we go. Uh, and it's also very important that you, you make them same size so that they cook at the same time. Right. Some will dry. Mm -hmm. About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. Mm. Those are more than the colors of the rainbow, and it's required. 
recommended that you eat as many colors in a day as possible okay. to be able to... I'll put this so that you can shift uh, some of the things here. Let you have space. Wow, it already looks beautiful. Wow. Uh, when you're putting them, you're okay. going to put some oil. Okay. Olive oil. Yes, this is the one actually. This one is not the extra virgin. Olive oil is the one that they pressed. You don't use for. It's usually used in salad. They say olive oil is healthier than the other oil. Mm. With a lot of vitamin E, mm. which is very good for, for the skin, for, for the brain. Look at the flash of color. Wow. On the dish. So we mm. put uh, big onions. With onions, too, you have to cut them big to mm. be able to. To fit the size of the other the vegetables. vegetables, then we put salt. Okay. Our salt is here. Then you put any other. You can put uh, pepper. You can put curry. You can use any seasoning you have in your home. Mm -hmm. or you can even leave them like this. Some people don't want them seasoned, right. so it depends on the. On your Just family and yes. your taste and what they're interested in. Right. So you mix properly, make sure mm. the oil and the salt goes on air, mm. all the vegetables. Mm. Then thereafter, you transfer to the baking tray. Mm. First of all, you have to make sure you, you space them properly so that they don't cover each other. You can even group them and say the potato, the, the courgette salon, the, the, the green pepper, the, the mm. this salon. So that when you're serving and you have someone who doesn't take one of the items, mm. you can serve well. But here we mixed, mm. thinking we all take everything. Right. And I think it looks very attractive Not when it's mixed. Yes. But you can also separate it. Right. So now it's time to put in the grill. Okay. We're going to do our third dish, which is the grilled potatoes. Jessica, uh, take us through the grilled potatoes. I know chips, I know the normal boiled Irish potatoes, but these grilled ones, take us through it, please. So you get your potatoes from the market and make sure you buy fresh potatoes. Uh, the, nutrition, the nutrients in the food depends on the quality of the food. Mm. Whenever you're buying things, buy quality things. Right. So you buy them, you peel them, like I said earlier, you peel them properly, just remove only the top skin and wash them well until they are clean. You chop them, like I'm doing here, you can do big size or small size. Usually for children, if you do big size, it puts them off. So you usually make the small sizes if you are preparing for the whole family. Yes. And they must be uniform and smart, right. same size, so that they don't burn. Mm -hmm. or, or don't get ready. Or don't get ready. So you have to be very careful when you're right. slicing them, so that they look neat. Yes. You, you know these chips people, is the way they cut their chips and they look very beautiful and right. attract you. Uh, so you have like to they use the ruler. Them. Mm. Yeah, you have to put <laughs> them if you to attract your child. To yes. Them. So like I said earlier, because our children will like chips. Yes. And yet we know they are not healthy because mm. of the oil, oh, oil, a lot of oil they use. So for them to enjoy their potatoes, in that shape and in that manner, mm -hmm. they decide to do this, which is healthy. Right. So after cutting them like this, you put them in a pan. First put a little salt mm -hmm. in a pan. Uh, we boil water. I have that beautiful lime color. Is it because of the rosemary? Well, I think the, the potatoes are fresh, the fresh yes. and, the, and the green yes. rosemary. So you, you you get out the water. You should put little water when you're boiling so that you don't lose most nutrients. Mm -hmm. But also this water that you get out of it, mm -hmm. you use it for the curry. 
Right. So you don't throw away. Oh. Right. Oh, this is our stock. Mm -hmm. yes. We are going to make the, the curry for the meatball curry. Yes. yes. It can also be used as a stock. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's rice, it can be used as a, a thickener for your right. sauté. Mm -hmm. So after this, mm -hmm. we are going to put uh, a pinch of a pinch of we are going to put a pinch of blue band. And we are going to put a pinch. <laughs> yes, it's a pinch. <laughs> You put so, the blue band in when they are still hot. Oh yeah, so that it melts and, and covers all the potatoes. Mm. When you think everything is now covered, you put on the pan, on the drilling pan. With the rosemary? Yes. Okay. Then we put in our oven and grill. Now we are going to prepare the curry. Remember our, our earlier dish uh, for the meat was meatball curry. And uh, Jessica is going to take us through how to make the curry for those meatballs. So we have onions. You want a little? So you do the onions. Mm. First of all, you put olive oil. Not the one for the salad, but the one that you can use for cooking. If you are going to buy olive oil, you have to be very observant. There's, uh, there's olive oil that is strictly not for cooking. Right. When you use this one, you put olive oil. We are using olive oil because we have already shared the benefits. You put onion, you put garlic and ginger. Then you put your curry powder or any spices that you have in the home. I'm going to use this, but there are quite a number of them that you can use. You can also use a uh, uh, garam masala. Mm -hmm. You can also use uh, paprika mm -hmm. and. Uh, you can also add turmeric. I like turmeric because of the color and the, um, the food nutrients in it. Mm -hmm. I usually use that. Blend, so if you are at risk of cancer and, and, and blood clotting, mm -hmm. turmeric is very good. People call it turmeric. Uh, turmeric. Mm -hmm. turmeric. But I call it turmeric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too, turmeric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I pronounce it in Rinyamakori. <laughs> You want tomatoes? Uh, tomatoes, you, you grate them mm. to avoid the hard skin. Yes. Uh, this is our bell pepper. It, it brings in the nutrients plus the color. And, uh, You, you are cooking on very low heat. Is that because you want the nutrients of these ingredients preserved? Yes, sometimes mm. when you use a lot, a lot of these things, uh, they get burnt, burnt and, yeah, and then, then become stale. Uh, so, and, and uh, we will recommend when you're cooking, it's uh, called simmering. Mm. Mm. Simmering is good, it makes the things soft, but mm. also retain their. The flavors, yeah, the flavors. And, and the nutrients don't vary. So yes, so we have our our so, water from the, from the potatoes. From the potatoes.
they have been baked, right? Yes. Okay. So you put salt, you put all the, all the uh, seasoning you want, you put there. When it starts boiling, you reduce the heat mm -hmm. and it simmers for, for like 20 minutes, mm -hmm. it will be ready. And like the other ordinary meat where you cook for two hours mm -hmm. to get it down. So it saves on fuel yeah, power, mm -hmm. fuel, yes, yes. It does and it's easy to, to eat. Okay. So now that it has started boiling, let me reduce the heat so that it simmers and we leave it there for some time. As you saw, you remember the meatballs, the children love the meatballs. And as she serves that, I will get uh, the other food that we made. Remember our roasted potatoes, our roasted vegetables. Here are our roasted vegetables, look at those colors. Yeah? And everything seems to still be intact. So roasted, not deep fried, not overboiled. And our last food was the grilled potatoes. Look at that. Again, better than the chips, but looking so nice and the children would definitely love this. Even the adults would love this. children and the adults. I'm sure you have learned so much, you have enjoyed the processes and uh, we can't wait to see you another time. And kindly, for any comments, for any clarification, for any message to the two ladies, go to the YouTube channel Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime, subscribe, give a comment and let us know what you'd want us to do for you next. God bless you. Bye -bye. God bless Bye. you.